right, what's going on guys? So today we're gonna go over three body weight partner drills that you can do for wrestling to help with your technique, your stability, your flexibility, and your strength. But before we do so, I have to make sure that I let you guys know that Body Armor 2.0 is out now. It's available, link is in the description. All right, now let's get on to the video. First thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do a drill series, going from a single leg, transitioning up, building that power, building the posterior chain. You can do this as like a drill or like a set scheme. I typically do about 30 seconds to about a minute, and you can do it with both partners on each side. All right, let's get to it. All right, so the one thing that we're looking from a technical aspect, right, is when we're getting in on a guy, we're not so focused on setting up a series, right? This is more based on the fact of building conditioning, right? As I'm getting in, doesn't matter how my setup is, I can go from an outside triangle, I can go from anywhere like that. But the biggest thing is that I'm getting in on that shot, I'm staying in tight, and I'm exploding up. Like I said, you can build this off of a conditioning circuit. You can do about 30 seconds, one minute. You could even do eight to 10 reps, three sets. It all, it all depends on what you're trying to accomplish out of this, all right? So as I'm here, I'm coming in, snapping him down, he's gonna go back up. As I'm here, he's leaning over. So as I'm getting in on that shot, I'm staying in tight. And now as I'm staying in tight, I'm bringing this bound foot up into position, lifting him up, right? You're gonna see this a lot from a technical aspect when you're getting in on single leg, double legs, or even so scramble situations. So the first exercise with the single leg high crotch, for what I see and what I feel, when I get underneath, right, you wanna use your posterior chain. So you want that extension of the hips. So as I get deep, I can drive my hips up, right? Squeezing my glutes and I'm lifting with a little bit of my upper back. So again, you're gonna get more posterior chain activation. And if you do this for reps, you're obviously gonna build some muscle too as well. That's why wrestling is a form of strength training when you're actually on the mats. That's why I love when guys actually go and actually get stronger doing the sport. It's appropriate for what they're trying to do. It's specific. And again, when you're a wrestler or you're an MMA fighter, this is crucial to build up that wrestling strength. For the next one, we're gonna get into a series. It's relatively difficult, so I suggest doing this with caution. Bill's gonna be my demonstration. He's gonna get on the ground on all fours. And what we're gonna look to do is I'm coming, doesn't matter which side, I'm grabbing the lat, and I'm also grabbing the oblique, right? What this is gonna do is it's gonna administer pressure going in forward. Now it's gonna teach him on bottom to stabilize his base, especially when he's gonna get caught in crackdown positions, when he's getting into one leg or to another arm. It's gonna be really good for building intrinsic core and all that other stability stuff, all right? Let me show you guys. As you can see, Phil's in position on all fours, right? The main thing that he's gonna have to focus on is stabilizing his entire body from the pelvis all the way to the posterior chain to the core, right? Now what this does is that what we're trying to accomplish is building that extension factor from the thoracic and from the core. Now you're gonna see this a lot when, when guys are throwing each other, when guys are getting into scramble situations, takedowns, they're using that extension factor so that way when they're extending their hips, they're getting into that position of when they're throwing or when they're attacking or when they're trying to defend takedowns, right? So as he's getting back down, he's in all fours, what I'm looking to do, if you're on the left side, left hand is gonna come underneath the lat, right? Other hand is gonna come right underneath the oblique. Now notice, as I'm driving, I'm staying up for pressure, right? This is keeping him stabilized in his position, so that way when I transition over to the other side, I'm kicking over and I'm keeping my hips high at the top. A lot of guys get into the habit of getting, sagging their hips or keeping themselves too low. The main thing is you want to stay on the balls of your feet. Staying in on the balls of your feet, keeping that hip motion active. And as I'm coming through, I'm using all posterior chain, all abdominal, that entire region as I'm kicking myself over and bringing myself back into position. For me, you gotta stabilize yourself in that quadruped position. So really good for stabilization like you talked about. And I tried this and yeah, it's pretty tough. So check it out. All right guys, so the third exercise, we're gonna do a fireman's carry and we're gonna do this for distance. From a skills point, what I'm looking to do, the two main points of contact that I'm looking for is the tricep and the leg. So as like I'm getting in on a shot, I'm getting low on my level, I'm keeping this tight, I'm pulling this elbow down, keeping this close to me. Now, as I'm bringing myself up, 
He's gonna be pushed onto my back, and you notice from a sagging position, he's gonna be getting really sagging all the way to the back, right? So my main thing, elevate it, pinch down on the tricep, pinch down on the leg, right? Going for 10, 15 yards, doing it, you can either do it for muscular endurance, doing it for power, walking, stabilizing your core, right? Same thing like you would do with the loaded carry. Now this is gonna benefit you on a lot of different aspects, especially from the posterior chain, especially when you're getting into a position where you're having to walk a guy down and when you're gripping tight and staying in that suplex position, this is helping you stabilize from this aspect alone. That way when you're getting in, you can accomplish getting in on takedown, getting two points and in turn building muscle. There you guys go, three exercises for wrestling, for your technique, for your strength, your power, your stability and flexibility. Check out Kay here on Instagram. And also if you wanna train a particular program that's body weight only, check out Body Armor. And yes, I'm coming out with Body Armor 2.0. So it's the second installment. This will be out in the next month or so. So make sure you stay on the lookout. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so. Hit the notification if you are subscribed. Hit the like button if you like this video. I'll see you again next time, peace.